notice across the room a short pile of armor. Stolik, you open your eyes. Hi. Hello. Who are you? Who are you? I'm here. Who are you? Why? Uh, because I can't move my body, and now you're here, and I think it's, um, your fault? Is it? Usually. What's your name? Stolik. That's a weird name. Thank you. Where is here? Uh, we're in some dungeon that the king sent us to, because, I don't know. He asked us to clean it up, so we're here now. Which king? King Ublet. Despite your extensive knowledge of uh, royalty, you have no knowledge of anyone by that name. Of what realm? Uh, what? What's a realm? Kingdom. Oh, he's the king of Corvaldon. <laughs> what? You change the names of the kingdoms? Yeah. You do not recognize the name of this kingdom. So, did the matron send you? The who now? The matron. She keeps sending me on quests and tests and stuff. You're a test, right? Sure. Like part of the whole prophecy thing? Definitely. Prophecy thing. Definitely the part, prophecy. Part of the prophecy? Definitely part of the prophecy. You should heed all that I speak. Cool. So I have to defeat you or something, right? What? No. Other way around. You have to do as I say. That, that doesn't sound like That sounds like exactly Okay. Tell me more about me. Um, well, my name's Hiro. Uh, I'm 10 years old. And <laughs> um, I'm part of the prophecy. I'm going to cry. Give <laughs> Susan one moment. <laughs> <laughs> the matron spoke to me directly. She said that <laughs> so he's manipulable. The matron uh, spoke to me. She said that uh, I had to be like the big hero and defeat uh, the world ending darkness. I have much knowledge in the way of ending world darkness. Or whatever you just said. <laughs> Yay! That's good because I have no idea what it is. Great. What skills do you have? Um, I have a sword. I know. Right here. Oh, wait. Uh, and he picks oh, up, cool. he, he shows you your body. The sawtooth saber that you are far more than familiar with. Except, uh, you are familiar with every speck of this weapon. There has been a hole drilled into the side of the hilt, and a large gem has been set into it. Okay, that just throws the whole balance off. Susie gives a creepy white eyes. That this is not just your sword, but this is your true body. Sun, and sun wrapped into my exact specifications. <laughs> <laughs> He's also holding it up, right? Ah! <laughs> Oh wait, that's my new sword. Uh, here. He pulls out a very plain uh, steel sword. Um, as you feel around inside your body, two arms, two legs, one heart, um, the world is a bit larger than feels right. Um, but from anything that you can feel, you seem to be human. Rather, you seem to be in a human body. It, it like, oh, wow. like he holding holding his fist straight out, uh, and the saber pointing down. It is just barely not scraping the ground. Okay, I have to subtly ask questions without looking around the room to move it on to the next person. <laughs> so you're wanting more information, but to not pass. I I want to ask the kid why he picked me out of everything, but I don't know that there is everything. Oh, okay, yeah, you. You do not know, you don't know in this instant that you're not alone. Where, where did you find me? Um, oh, you're yeah, the sword. Yeah. Oh, that makes more sense. Wait, the matron sent me the sword? To find me. Oh, So I can wait. help you. 
Wait. Wait. Yeah, okay. Well, all my friends and I came uh, to help King Ublet. And, um, well, we were fighting all the, all the monsters, and this was the last room. Uh, it was all, uh, there was a whole bunch of cool stuff uh, embedded in that wall over there. And, and, and I thought that you were a cool sword. And I figured that the, 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 hero, the, the hero of the prophecy needed to have a cool sword, not just the stinky one that my mom gave me. That is absolutely true. You should throw that stinky one away. But my mom said, said the sword gently at his feet. I will look around the room! <laughs> <laughs> As you turn your attention away from this child that you've found yourself stuck within, which is not a delicate sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I totally... Susa has just discovered that Hero is a paladin. <laughs> oh! Oh! Did you not pick that up when he was talking about... It was Phantom? Susa does not like What is it that you didn't want me to do? Walk out the door and never come back? I didn't want you to... Yeah, I really didn't want you to just leave. I'd rather you not just murder Hero in instantly. You <coughs> handed the character sheet. Oh, okay. Oh, I never finished. <laughs> um, so, so are you okay? okay. That's did, so poorly. What did you just discover? Uh huh. <laughs> detect, uh-huh. detect good and evil. He hasn't thought about that yet. He's not very. We'll figure it out as it happens. He's not you. He, he does not have a high wisdom. <laughs> no, he does not. You might have a high intelligence, but not high wisdom. So, as you turn your attention away from this tiny body that you're suddenly possessing, you look around the room and notice a 